Well, as I was saying, we are guaranteed new names on the mixed doubles trophy tomorrow because they're uh, the big surprise. The defending champions and two-time winners, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei, beaten by a superb Indonesian pair today. And of course, the Danes breaking the English hearts on our first match this afternoon. Chris and Gabby Adcock going down to Fisher Nielsen and Pedersen. So our next match is women's singles, and we've got Dozumi Okuhara of Japan. Well, as far as the women's singles represented at semi-final stage, need to go was Sungji Hyung, beaten by Tai Su Ying, who, as you can see, has lost in the semi-final to the two-time former champion Wang Shashian. So here, Carolina Marin won the title last year, her first ever Super Series title. She won the World Championships before she won a Super Series title. That's extraordinary, isn't it? And prior to last year at the All England, hadn't won a match in her three previous appearances. Lost in the first round all three times. That emphasises the point that Steen and I were making just a moment. And to really improve, take a step back, perhaps to take two or three forward. So, Carolina Marin, 22 years of age, from Huelva in Spain, lives now in Madrid, enjoying her 31st week as the world number one. Two-time world champion, first of all, in, J in Copenhagen in 2014 and last year in Jakarta. Won the All England title last year, beating Sina in the final. Well, she had in the very first round against the left-hander Bei yung Ju of Korea and saved two game points in the first game and then had two match points in the second game but didn't convert, but came through in the decider. Yesterday's quarter-final was against the number six seed, Rachinuk Intanon, the former world champion and former All England finalist and left-hander Bei yung Ju of Korea and saved two game points in the first game and then had two match points in the second game but didn't convert but fortunately for her came through in the decider. Yesterday's quarter-final was against the number six seed Rachinuk Intanon, the former world champion and just seemed to have the edge over turn 21 tomorrow. My goodness, wouldn't that be a wonderful to be contesting the All England final. From Nagano in Japan which, of course, was host to the 1998 Winter Olympic Games. Has been one place higher in the world ranking at number seven, but currently number eight, and she's a former world junior champion. Won the Super Series finals at the end of the year, and look how impressive that line of results is. Second round against the World Championship bronze medalist, Linda winning Fanatry, and yesterday in the quarterfinal against number four seed and 2009 winner, Wang Yi Han, 21-9, yes, that really is 21-9, and 21-13. She was absolutely... So this will be the sixth meeting between these two players. And of the previous five, Nozomi Okuhara has won three of them, including two wins at the Destination Dubai World Super Series Finals last December. And the last time they were in the group, and then they had to play each other in the semi-final as well. And of course, as I was saying, no Super Series finals. So the umpire for this, Jim Gold from Scotland. How Long Hu from China is the service judge. Well, if previous form in the tournament is anything to go by for this. Ladies and gentlemen, Amir Kahara, Japan. In to serve, Laval play. So, Anozami Okuhara, the traditional little bow to all the court officials. Ooh, no. 
bit of housekeeping too. <laughs> All the same. Psychological games have already begun. The way she played those Super Series finals, the way she's played earlier in the tournament, but Carolina Marin is a great match player. And furthermore, Carolina Marin's coach, but Fernando Rivas, is a master tactician, and he will have been studying the videos from Dubai. Yeah, there's no doubt that this is, um, in many ways, um, the moment of truth for uh, Carolina Marin. Um, she was definitely in that. Here we have Fernando Rivas and uh, Danish assistant coach Anna Thompson. Um, happy about Hapas and uh, Danish assistant coach Anna Thompson. Um, so, uh, a good chance for her here. Uh, I think both players actually have played well uh, in um, the previous matches in this uh, tournament. Um, maybe Marin struggled a little bit more than expected against uh, Yu Jun Bei in, in um, the first round. But the first round is always difficult if you if you play a good opposition, as I rate the Korean to be. Um, Okuhara has been just excellent. And the question in my mind is really, is the uh, is the shot quality of Marine has that become better since uh, the Super Series? Can she make the correct uh, shots with the correct pressure? long enough time to sort of outmaneuver of Okuhara or will it go like this where they're a little bit unsharp and she will get punished by the way Japanese player yes and that's a good point because I made the dreadful mistake when I first commentated on her being so bamboozled and so blinkered and so in awe of her movement around the court and her speed of movement I, I didn't really notice the racket skills, but she's got wonderful well. Five, one. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that, Jill. That means that she can not only retrieve the opponent's shots, she can also get them back with interest. Yeah. Very, very unpredictable player. Hey. Yes, and I wonder if that is perhaps a good tactic for jamming and smash. Yeah. Um, and Marin also needs to protect herself from being counter-attacked if in fact, this happens that we've been talking about, that Okuhara is retrieving the shots. It should be in a way that she doesn't have too many uh, opportunities uh, herself to to counterattack Marine. So it's a, it's a tough tactical task, but also um, technical and physical, because you have to be able to do the correct things. These clears here, they're so good that she can't do a lot about it, Okuhara. But I mean, she's still very much in the rally. Oh, oh goodness me. Oh, she created her own luck there. Carolina Marin. Three. Big swing at the clear, isn't it? Yeah. And it's tough to, be, to, to need to play that many really, really good shots to win a rally. But that's how it is on the top of World Badminton. Yeah. 
four, five. Attacking punch clear. Flatter trajectory in the high clear. Played with disguise and deception. Yeah. Puts your opponent under pressure. Take this takes away time. Four five. Beaten last week, Okahara and, and by uh, Three games. Seen that match. Had a chance to analyze it. Because that's also Six, one of the five. players that I would expect would have the weapons to to uh, be able to beat Okahara. Which has been the informed player since the um, beginning of um, December last year. Seven, six. And already now it's a bit closer than we saw at um, the Super Series final where Okuhara ran away from the beginning of the match. Yeah, and Carolina Marin, six in the last seven points. Oh, she's missed that one. So it's over. Seven, eleven. Correction, right, seven all. It's okay, seven all. That's just missed as well. Service over. Both players absolutely game as well. Eight, seven. Haven't quite got their range yet. Mm. Both probably got a lot of respect for each other. Yeah. Okuhara, no. Going out, surely. I thought so too. Oh, brilliant! Great follow up from Carolina Madden. Nine seven. Yeah, having played this cross court, look how quickly. Carolina Marin moves forward for the reply. Now, you were talking earlier in the week about follow-up shots. That's absolutely vital in singles. It has to be a straight block, and therefore if you can... You, you, you've got to make the most of the, the small opportunities. Well, there's a challenge here. Yeah, it's clearly, in my opinion. I didn't think it was that close. Well, there we go. Got two challenges per game. Yep. Challenge successful. Yeah. Oh, that 
that's a good follow up as well. Mm. We've talked about follow up in singles for many years with men's singles players, but we're talking about it more and more in women's singles now. Yeah. And this is just how the game has developed. It's become a more attacking game. Yeah. And uh, when you're attacking, you cannot. You can no longer. The defense have improved a lot in the women's singles, so you, it, it's tough to to make outright winners from the back court. You have to use the back court attack to set up the winners from the front so court. Interval. So Carolina Marin to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. <laughs> Sabes que tus golpeos son cruzados, aunque para que ella no pueda atacarte es la calidad de tu golpeo. Están siendo buenos, mantén la altura, mantén la profundidad, ¿vale? Me falta solo una cosa, lo que, lo que tú sabes, ¿eh? el cruzado y con ruido. De vez en cuando, para que ella, cuando tú estás haciendo lo, ella ya se está esperando atrás. Tráetela de vez en cuando, aunque sea paralelo y te vaya a golpear, no pasa nada, pero por lo menos para que el otro te sirva, ¿vale? Uh, housekeeping rules. An important start <clears throat> to the game for Carolina Marin, coming off a double loss in, in Dubai, so she needs to believe that uh, they found the right recipe, but it's also important to how, how will she start this second half of the first game here? Will Okuhara get back? Oh, that is tremendous follow up. 12 8. Making the initiative and dictating. Oh, look at that um, defensive over. shot from Marin. It goes Nine, to the middle of the court, 12. not to the side, taking away the angles from um, the eventual follow-up from Okuhara. Still a Japanese point this time. Okuhara, Nine. what are we going to do about this? Yeah, the coach there so normally concentrates on the doubles, guys. 14, 9. Limits the shot possibilities. That was what Carolina was uh, intent to uh, to give Okuhara. <laughs> Had to ask the umpire to mm. be allowed to hit a few shots. Wow, what a contrast! Since then, Carolina Marin has been in control. Okuhara be doing because she's it's almost as if she's just lost her way she doesn't know what to try and yeah. do yeah she, she's she's playing sh like this shot here it's like she's playing herself like she's so afraid of Marine, so she overplays the shots that's another one so I mean 18, control and prevent Carolina from from uh, attacking and and putting um, pace into the the shots Long. And there's so many mistakes when, when she's put under pressure. Nine. So I, yeah. I think we must give a lot of credit to, to, the, to the girl in yellow here because she's 
improved her shot making a lot since the, the Super Series finals and, and probably also her movement. And then again, Okuhara's playing with the drift. She can't really punch a clears. That's another one. That's cool, then. Yeah, I thought it was him. 19. Yep, definitely him. question it was long game point opportunities for the defending champion yeah. yep. and a brisk walk off court from the Carolina Valley very business like she'll be absolutely delighted with that 21 11 21 11 in just under 20 minutes of play yeah, impressive play from Matt. volante. <coughs> で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
close, followed up by, in my opinion, Lee Shuri after uh, Lei, which is, um, I think, second on the race to Rio. I would have expected her to go through here. It was very possible that she lost to Wang Shishen uh, yesterday. I thought we were in for some really mouth-watering uh, matches. We still are, but um, oh, no, I'm surprised that the Olympic champion is out of the Olympic. Nokohara beats the start of the, the second game that she wanted. Oh, that is absolutely delightful. Slice, drop shot, and to perfection. Yeah, just watch how she gives the shuttle a glock. Wonderful. Oh, she was 5 1 up. Oh. She's progressed the score along. 6 1. You can see how much more difficult it is for Maureen to execute her game plan from this side of the court. Ends up giving too much time away to Okuhara. Why? Because she's got to hit the, the clears a little higher? Yes. Most people think they do. If they hit it higher, they won't go out. But then you just pass the initiative over to your opponent. So. Mm. You simply got to hit it even flatter and, and a little bit shorter. Okay, well, that was so flat, I didn't know whether it was a smash or a punch clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Okuhara. Yeah. yeah. You can't describe that as... Well... Strawberries shot for her height, you might still count it as a, That's a good point. She's only one meter 55 centimeters, that's five foot one. The net posts are only five foot one. Oh, great defense. the psychological games. Carolina Marin hits the shuttle into the net, walks away. Okuhara doesn't want to go and collect the shuttle either. Uncertain of what to do here, but then suddenly realized, oh, I've got to deliver the shuttle to my opponent so we can get on with the game. and watched her opponent there, Carolina Marin. Yeah. And that's why she made the error. Yeah. But, but the game she's playing right now is not the correct game playing with the drift. Uh, I don't think she can win this game uh, and uh, doubt the match even so uh, in the third half a game on that court side. But um, point of view. And immediately it provoked an error from uh, Okuhara. Deserved. That was a high clear from Carolina Marin. I don't think it was even going Whether it hits the baseline, exactly hits the baseline, it doesn't make any difference because 
the disguises from from Okuhara will then kick into play and, and Marin will still be late on the next one. Okuhara. Well, you said, Steen, that her game plan wasn't working from that. First of all, she could she could try to to hit the clear uh, more flat and, um, and and short because that will sort of tell what kind of possibilities Okuhara will have to play a downward shot. The one I uh, prefer is to to hit it downwards from the beginning. Then. is that mode so uh, pretty soon she has to take this I probably would like to try to play a few rallies and see if I could um, I could get my game going that's it yeah. that's it hit it downwards come to the front court Four, with 12. possibilities and make deceptive shots. Most of them to the front court, but also some to the back court. She just has to be a little bit careful, but putting a deception on helps, and deception takes away a little bit of the power because you can't hit with the whole arm. Getting a bit of home medicine there. That one, just hitting it high up into the air, and that's... Of course, nice to be able to return that, but the next one is probably a winner from Okuhara. Do you remember who cho chose ends? I didn't. No. Didn't pay enough attention to that. <laughs> oh, that's a good play. Carolina Marin. Five. Drop from Okuhara. Service over. Oh, that shows exactly five. what you mentioned. Your player here. Better end. So yeah, but but uh, I can understand her because she lost the last two matches, so she needed to come out um, at her best. Yeah. And also in the third game, she, she would hope to come out and, and, and uh, sort of be able to to um, side. We've often seen Chinese players at first and, and not really giving a good effort in very interesting um, tactics, in my opinion, that, that could work, but it requires you to... Yeah. One of the masters of that was uh, Chen Jin, in my opinion, the mm. women's singles coach. Yes, 2008. 16-7.
I have to say I have Okuhara as the favorite to win this match now because I think Marin has to change her playing style and I'm not sure whether she's had time enough to practice that. Oh, it's called Gohara. Well, that's yeah. why it was fine. And this is what would have been important to be able to find the baseline with quality shots from the beginning of the second game. Could have turned the events around. Alina, please. Gold of Scotland, the umpire. A little bit irritated that Carolina Marin taking too long in between rallies. Challenge. That's a challenge, but that was too late. Something now in the clearing game. He's using less. The clearing game. He's using less arm power. And that could be really, really crucial in the third game. Finishing on that side. Good shot. Oh, that is just heavenly. My goodness me, to play around the head shot like that. Mm -hmm. For an outright winner. Yeah. Such a delight to watch, isn't it? Look at that. Just brushing across the flight of the shuttle. Yeah, I'm surprised. I wonder if that's... It'll be interesting to see the, the front court winners as well. I have a feeling, certainly in the opening game, that Marion would have had the, the advantage there. That's all that. Nine Oh, good. Perfect. Oh, clever. Body smash. Oh, well, she'd work the rally. Yeah, and a wry smile from Nozomi Okuhara. 10-19. Yeah, that was the one. I... And that's dropped in too. 11-19. Plum on the line. But she's just lost five on the trot. But they can stick in between the strings. has earned herself game point opportunities and opportunities to level this women's single semi-final at one game apiece. Wow. 
15, 20. I actually think that Okuhara in her mind is, is uh, a little bit in the third game already. Mm. Can't get you ahead of yourself in sport. Well, normally one of the last here, I, I still feel that she can close this second game down. Gives uh, Marine some self confidence before the third game. 15 20. Thought we were going to have a third game in our first semi final today, didn't we? Yeah. Get us clean out. That's right. And look how many mistakes it comes from Okohara when she has to play from below the tape. Carolina, play. Yes, play. Twenty-one sixteen, the second game to Nozomi Okuhara. Second game won by Nozomi Okuhara. Twenty-one sixteen, one game all. Forty-five minutes so far for this match, and it's one game apiece. So, we have got our wish, Steen. We have got a third and deciding game. <laughs> Managing to change her shirt in a very discreet way. Carolina orientada hacia su derecha mejor. No está rematando muy fuerte, ¿vale? Pero bueno, si lo necesita eso, tranquila, tranquila. Pero recuerda el plan de juego, por favor, ¿de acuerdo? El plan de juego es, fíjate lo que lo que ha pasado cuando tú has dejado de fallar. Falla ella, falla ella. Y volvemos al, al, al mismo refrán. Pero una cosa es paciencia y otra cosa es pasividad, ¿de acuerdo? Well, it looks to me as if Fernando Rivas is having to work very out trying to give her belief. Yeah, it's it's a um, it's a difficult discipline to coach in between second and third game in a in a windy. Um, just you have to give all concentration to the first part of it. Play. This is crucial, the start of this. Once again, Carolina Marin walking away towards her coaches after hitting the shuttle into the nets. Yeah, a little bit of frustration. She needs to keep her composure. that when you again can push your shots a little bit you push them too much because you haven't been able to do it for a whole yeah. whole game and Okuhara 
She must, she must tell herself, I gotta finish first at 11, uh, or uh, change ends at 11. I want to be in the lead, because then she would be so all so too satisfied. Her goal has One. to be... low-paced shots below the tape. Good shot. Three, two. Simply by the placement, when you say good shot, was that... The placement is okay, it's, it's by the side, but... but um, the shot is so flat yeah. that it's impossible for Kohara to have more than perhaps two opportunities for, for her next shot. Yeah. starting to rise with yeah. the players who yeah. are jumping a little bit up and down on the spot. There's a sign of trying to loosen up. Oh, the luck of an echo there for Okuhara. Four, three. Sort of half smash straight down the line. Five, no pace for Camarina Marin to feed off. And this one here. Yeah, good balance so she can oh. follow up. Yeah. Plano both. Oh, absolutely even on the front court winners now. Six apiece. Played by Okuhara, and you can see that's something to try and clear from that side now. Mm. Six, three. So that's why it's so difficult to, to coach in the Windy Stadium because it's not going to be like the first game. Mm. Both players are a little bit wiser. Yeah, a little bit no, wiser, but Carolina Marin seems a little bit at a loss at the Carolina. moment. Carolina, on court now. Well, after that rally, there was some sort of spread as if to say to her coach, well, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. And she's not, she's not put that pressure on the long back hand corner as she did in, in the first game. Yeah. I would have chosen the long back hand corner there with the clear, the punch clear. Yeah. She hasn't been utilizing that shot at all here in, um, in the third game. And when she has, it has been a too high clear that has to take initiative. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Carolina Marin has lost her way mentally. Eight, three. This is six straight points now to Okuhara. Missed by some margin, didn't she? Oh dear me. Oh, I'm Four, sorry. Eight. Quick. Catalina back on court now. Brilliant. 
And the question that pops up in my mind now is how is Okuhara reacting to the fact that she's about to play herself into the All England final in women's singles? Is she going to get any more tense? We saw some mistakes in, in the uh, final stage of uh, the second game. I don't think she can afford it here. She has no. to keep playing on the high level. Good follow up. Crikey, that's a good lift. as that rally was in progress. That was an important that point. It was a really, really important point. Totally agree. Two point deficit or four point. We have one at 39, Ali. Oh, that's a clever smash. Like I said earlier on, I like the body oh, smashes. Six, yeah. nine. It's definitely a good idea for the Spanish girl to target the body. Nothing bad is happening on the next shot. <laughs> Both players jumping up and down. Important for Okuhara to see if she can sort of uh, make the lead. Oh, Seven, yeah, but, but still, I have a feeling that if Carolina is winning within striking distance when this match reaches its um, final stage, like 18-16 uh, or something like that, then she might have a little advantage that she's won it. Yes. Before. Shot. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, crikey. The screams are going up a few decibels. <laughs> It's a good thing that we're wearing uh, protective uh, earbuds. <laughs> yeah, but that's good movement around the head, isn't it? Control that smash straight down the line. That is good play. I always see these uh, noise comparisons. They always compare it with... Um, uh, with a jet plane taking off. I wonder how, how close it is to that. <laughs> if you're within five meters. Oh. Well, what was she expecting in the return of serve? Carolina Marin turns to her coach once more. I think she served without being ready. Yeah. She wasn't ready in her head. No. Forehand side, then the backhand side, then back to the forehand side again. Really making Carolina Marin twist and turn. And it is Nozomi Okuhara who has the advantage at the change of ends here in this deciding game. Three point advantage. <laughs> It appeared to be saying something about lift, which was 
you pointed out, is a little bit dangerous on that far side. No, 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 no. Oh, hang on, wait a minute, Steve. Let's listen to this. Well, when I first heard, or I, all I heard was no, no, no. <laughs> so there was obviously a sort of heated exchange between player and coach. Yeah. Okay, quick. 11 8. Play. Uh, Profundo Cruzado, that's something about um, deep cross, so playing cross all the time. Hey. Both players must try at all costs to stay in balance. Difficult to get the correct length if you're out of balance. Good shot. Oh my goodness! Good That's unbelievable. Oh, look at that. What a superb finish from Carolina Marin. But there was a defensive shot early on in that rally. I thought no, Okuhara was almost going to go into the splits. Stay on court. Carolina, stay that on one, court. Stay on to keep in balance from that is just remarkable. Carolina, well, I warning for misconduct. Mizomi, warning for misconduct. Well, you can tell what the fans think about those yellow cards. We're over the hour mark in this women's singles. Now in two minutes. It's badminton of the very, very highest quality. And whilst you don't want one player going off court, well, the other wants to continue because obviously well, that's not fair. But they both wanted to have a very quick timeout. Yeah. I appreciate that they've just had a timeout because they've changed ends one point ago, but. Deception. This is good rally again. Okay? Yeah. Look at the speed of this, the intensity of it. Look at that. Excellent shot. Wonderful. As the court's been mopped, the players this time are allowed to tell down. I'm not sure the umpire actually warned Okuhara earlier about time waste. Went straight from he went straight to the yellow card. Yellow card. He's warned Carolina Marin yeah, several second, times, but second. hadn't warned Okuhara. No. I think you're supposed to get a verbal warning first, aren't you? Um, I'm not really sure. Well, it depends on the severity yeah. of the offence, I guess. Yeah, but, but um, sometimes it's really hard for the players yeah, to figure out right. what kind of line the umpires are, are following. Be feeling really nervous right now. Nice, that's nice. And if you're a Carolina Marin fan, you'll be feeling really nervous right now. 14 if you're nine. Not a horror fan, of course, you'll be feeling absolute looks is if she's beginning to take control of this. Perhaps the right cushion to actually take the match. Play. Hey. 
Sorry, so now. 10 14. Return. Great disguise on the return of serve. I remember a few rallies today. There was an Eon Kuhara, the winner, with a little block Carolina off the Pastor return of the low ball, serve. Please. And we said, why on earth wasn't Carolina Marin looking for it? Well, she was looking for the block that time, so cleverly, Kuhara just held the shot and flicked it over her head. the deep cross. Oh, boy. Yeah, she was awfully close, steady. Did she hit the net post? Hitting her head on the net post. 11, that make, always makes me very, very worried because, of course, okay? American tennis player. Yeah, he's worried. He actually broke his neck doing that on a tennis court. Slid into the net post. James Blake, of course. 11.15. What did I say? Had a little senior moment there. Very, very important for Carolina Marin to try and close down this gap, but she's missed with that one. Service over, 16 11. Service over. Mind with that shot from Okuhara, which was halfway down the net, the point you made when she gets close to perhaps realising the dream of reaching the All England final, whether that the enormity of the situation may hit home and may make her a little bit nervous. Yeah. 13, 16. Your opponent started. Only two well points, played. the deficit now. Well played, and we had that deep cross again. 14, 16. You can push your shot a little bit more if you play on cross. You've got more ground to work with. <laughs> work with. But the right play, in my opinion, yeah. got to That's challenge right. up the net. There's not a whole lot of easy points out there. Okuhara, happy to see that stay on the other side. Oh, clever play. Oh, my goodness. Well, once again, an excellent rally. Oh, 
Get this one back. in an hour and 11 minutes. Yeah, a confirmation of how she did it. An absolute delight for Nozomi Okuhara. No question that we have a new star in the world of badminton. Nozomi Okuhara through to the All England final, beating the two-time world champion in today's semi-final. Said we have a new star in the world of badminton and everyone wants her autograph. Well, through to the All England final. And in the All England final tomorrow, which is her 21st birthday, she will play against the two-time former champion 
Wang Shexian. Of course, Wang Shexian coming through against the unseeded Tai Su Ying in three tremendous games. And incidentally, that was exactly an hour and 11 minutes as well. So both the women's singles semi-finals an hour and 11 minutes. So in the first of the men's singles semi-finals, the former champion, five-time former champion, Lin Dan against this man, Shui Song, young Chinese player, who obviously was an injury problem. He had the doc and Lin Dan eventually coming through in three games. Around 22 minutes for his three-game victory, 21-9, very one-sided that deciding game. But who will he play in the final? Because we still have this men's single semi-final to come. Tian Haowei of China, the former world junior champion, up against Hans Christian Wittinghus of Denmark. So, the number eight seed, Tian Haowei, up against Hans Christian Wittinghus of Denmark.